please come up in the morning. Cheers. from the Army and the Veterans Bell has the honor and privilege to provide military honors for our fallen comrade Paul. When Paul heard his country's call, he went forth, unbinding faith in his God, his family, his country, and his flag. All else was forgotten. The red of our country's flag was made more redder by his heroism. The white more stainlessly pure what motivated him, the blue and the starry field, more royal by his service to his country. Let us pray. Almighty and merciful God, Father of all, amidst these monuments of the dead, we see thy hand. In the depths of our sorrow, we realize the truth of the inspired words. I am the resurrection and the life. He that believes in me, though he were dead, yet shall he live. As comrade after comrade departs, we march on with the ranks growing thinner. Help us to be faithful unto thee and to one another. We beseech thee, look in mercy upon us all assembled here, and with thy own tenderness, consult and comfort those brethren by the hand of death. Heavenly Father, Bless our country with freedom, peace, and righteousness. And through the sovereign of the Holy Spirit's favor, may we all meet at last before thee. And thy great name shall be praised forever and ever. Amen. One by one, as the years roll on, we are called upon to fulfill the sad duties of our departing comrades. When Paul heard his country's call, he went forth, he joined the ranks of the young and the old. We too will walk in Paul's footsteps. We will be the heavenly commander for the last roll call. Yet Paul set forth an example we need to follow. We need to follow Paul's example for the youth of our nation. Our comrade is in the hands of our heavenly father, and God giveth his beloved sleep. He will be laid to rest, but let us cherish his virtues and learn to imitate them. Let each one be so loyal to every virtue, so true to every friendship, so faithful in the remaining marches that he will be able to fall out and take his place in a great review hereafter. But not in doubt, but with the faith that our merciful captain of our salvation will call him to that fraternity which on earth and in heaven remains unbroken. The Honor Guard will fire three volleys of fire, be fairly loud, followed by taps and presentation of colors by representatives from the Army. At the sounding of taps, I appreciate your stand, cover your heart, your right hand. All veterans, whether in uniform or not, may render hand salute.
Please be seated. This banner of love and devotion, now being folded, is a living memorial of our courageous thoughts of our comrade, the one you came this day to honor. The blue field represents the sky that overlooks the land and denotes the watchfulness of God, the Eternal. The red stripes tell us of the blood, sweat, and tears that have been offered and conquered by our comrade's devotion to the responsible freedom of his country. The white stripes boldly proclaim the peace he has brought to our future generations. This is Paul's flag. This is our spiritual heritage. Receive it with tears in our eyes and a faith in our hearts.